Hi, Steve from Recall Knowledge here. For this Foundry Quick Tip, we are helping to make sure you understand some of the automation toggles on the Pathfinder 2nd Edition character sheet and how they play into the Pathfinder 2nd Edition system as a whole. For this video, we are going to be looking primarily at Rogue Sneak Attack, but many of these concepts apply to other skills in Pathfinder as well. Let's start by taking a look at our resident rogue, Mukta. Mukta has a class feature called Sneak Attack that all rogues in Pathfinder 2nd Edition get. We can see this represented here under the Class Features section as Sneak Attack. If we drill down into the Sneak Attack feature, you can see there's a rule element. We can see that the Sneak Attack feature is represented by this code snippet here in the Rule Element section. Quick note, you can turn on viewing the Rule Elements in the System Settings, Advanced Rule Element UI checkbox here. Note that even if it's not exposed to you, this is how the system is automating things behind the scenes. It's not important that you be able to understand how all of this code works, but what is important to note is that part of this feature is driven by this target flat-footed predicate on the rule. So that means in order to add the damage to your rule automatically, the target itself must be flat-footed. Now, there are two ways to make sure your sneak attack damage is included with the automation, and I will explain both so you can figure out which one works best for your game. Firstly, you can see a toggle option on the character sheet under the Actions tab. We will see at the top this box that says Enable Abilities that Require a Flat-Footed Target. When that toggle option is off, if I roll my damage as Mukta, we'll see it only includes the damage from the rapier itself, so it should just be 1d6 damage plus dexterity. So we can see here, it's just the physical piercing damage from the rapier itself. If I toggle this to on and roll the same damage again, because now it knows my target is flat-footed, now it should also include the sneak attack damage automatically, and we can see it did. If we expand this, we can see it includes the d6 physical damage from the piercing and the d6 precision damage from sneak attack. This is because by including this checkbox, the system is now aware that it should activate this class feature. Now I will say managing this can be slightly annoying, having to come in here and click on this actions tab directly. So here's a good way to speed it up. In the Pathfinder 2nd Edition character sheet, if you drag any of these toggle options to the box on the bottom, it's going to link a macro directly to that toggle. So. I can see here, if I have this toggle now, whenever I click it, this flat-footed toggle can go on and off at just the click of one button. So you can use this in combat. If the target you are fighting is flat-footed, toggle it on. If the target you are fighting is not flat-footed, toggle it off, make your damage roll, and it'll calculate the sneak attack damage automatically. So the second way to do this is through the actual status effects themselves. As Mukta, I can make sure to target the creature I am attacking. Now for players, the default way to do this is by right-clicking the token twice, although I personally recommend using modules like Smart Target that make it easier for players to target things. Once your target is marked, it's up to the GM to go in and mark that creature as flat-footed. And once it's marked as flat-footed, Mukta can now roll his damage like normal. In this case, if I open my sheet, I will see the enable abilities that require a flat-footed target is not checked. However, when I roll the damage, I will see in the window, it includes both the piercing and the precision damage as expected. If the GM goes in and removes the flat-footed condition and I roll my damage, we can see it goes back to the single 1d6 damage. So removing that condition ends up removing the sneak attack damage Either approach automates the precision damage from your sneak attack. The benefit of the first approach is that it doesn't require the GM to mark everything flat-footed, especially things that are only temporarily flat-footed due to flanking. The downside is you have to manually make sure that the correct option is chosen on your character sheet toggle. The benefit of the second approach is that it doesn't require you as a player to manually toggle the feature on and off. However, it does require the GM to be the one managing the flat-footed condition across all the enemies, and that can cause some unnecessary overhead on their part. Ultimately, you'll want to find a flow that works for your group. 
But by using these tools, you will speed up your gameplay and leave more time for sneak attacking goblins with the rest of your friends. Thank you for watching, and until next time, stay healthy and take care. Hi, Steve from Recall Knowledge here. If you enjoyed this content, please make sure to like and subscribe down below so you can get notified of more awesome content coming your way. Also, make sure to follow our channel's Twitter at Recall Knowledge for the latest information. Thanks for watching.